Maria Luisa Gabriela of Savoie was born in Turin on September 13, 1688. She was the daughter of Victor Amadeus II, Duke of Savoie, who himself was a great-grandson of Henri IV of France and of Anne-Marie d'Orléans, who was the daughter of Philippe d'Orléans. Her elder sister, Maria de Laide of Savoie, would become the Dauphin of France when she married Louis, le petit dauphin, and was also the mother of King Louis XV of France. Maria Louisa was an intelligent child, and her mother, Anne-Marie d'Orléans, ensured that both Maria Louisa and Maria Adelaide received an exceptionally well-rounded education. In May 1701, Victor Amadeus II received an official request from Philip V of Spain for the hand of his daughter Maria Luisa. The request was placed by Philip's grandfather, Louis XIV, who was hoping for the support of Savoie in the looming war of the Spanish succession. After some hesitation from the side of Victor Amadeus, he gave his consent and the engagement of Philip V of Spain and Maria Luisa was announced simultaneously in Turin and Madrid on June 1, 1701. The by proxy wedding took place on June 11, 1701 in the Cathedral of Turin and the very next day, Maria Luisa Gabriela left Turin for Spain. Maria Luisa met her husband in Figueres for the first time on November 2, 1701, where the official wedding was held that same day in the local parish church. However, Maria Luisa refused her husband the traditional wedding night, sending the Spanish court into a frenzy. As her first contact with the Spanish court was less than positive, the initially unhappy Maria Luisa considered returning to Turin. Meanwhile, the French invasion of the Low Countries had effectively started off the War of the Spanish Succession. In April of 1702, Philip V left Spain for Italy. Despite her young age, Maria Luisa was appointed Regent of Spain. She was left with the difficult task of establishing stability at the rigid Spanish court where the Bourbon dynasty was newly installed on the Spanish throne that had belonged to the Habsburgs for two centuries. Unexpectedly, the hard-working Maria Luisa earned the trust of the Spanish court and was praised throughout Spain for her regency. Between late September and early October 1703, Maria Luisa's father, Victor Amadeus II, abandoned the French-Spanish alliance and switched to the Habsburg side. This was a severe blow for Maria Luisa, to which she reacted quite firm towards her father, as the time spent as regent in Spain had reassured her of herself and her role as queen. The determination she showed in this situation and her unwavering support to her husband ensured no one questioned her role as regent during her husband's frequent absences, who was busy at the front. When Philip V went to Aragon at the beginning of 1706 to put down revolts among his troops, Maria Luisa, now 18 years old, was reappointed as regent of France and once again distinguished herself by defending the Spanish capital, only fleeing Madrid when there was no other way. Her bravery was the deciding factor for Philip V not to abandon his Spanish throne, as many advised him to do. In April of 1707, Madrid was liberated, allowing Philip V and Maria Luisa to return to the capital, where four months later, on August 25, Maria Luisa gave birth to her first child, Louis, the Prince of Asturias. Maria Luisa and Philip would have four children in total. Louis I, King of Spain, who only reigned for seven months. He was married to Louise Elisabeth d'Orléans. They had no children. Philippe Emmanuel, who was born in 1709 and died a few days after his birth, Philip Peter, who died at the age of seven, and Ferdinand VI, King of Spain. He married Barbara de Braganza. After the birth of Louis I, Maria Luisa's health deteriorated noticeably. Despite her failing health, the Queen remained intensely involved in state politics. In 1710, Maria Luisa, once again entrusted with the regency due to the absence of her husband, had to flee Madrid once more to seek safety from advancing Habsburg and English troops. When Madrid was reconquered, the return of Maria Luisa to the capital was out of the question due to her poor physical condition. In March 1711, she suffered from a violent fever and for days the Queen hovered between life and death, 
before her condition unexpectedly improved in April of that same year. Only in November 1711, she was able to return to her husband's side in Madrid. After the birth of her third son, Philippe Peter, Maria Luisa's health deteriorated again. Her fourth pregnancy and the sad news concerning the death of her sister Maria Adelaide weakened her further. The signing of the Peace of Utrecht, which finally ended the War of the Spanish Succession, did little to lift her spirits. In May 1713, the Queen made her last public appearance in Madrid, after which she rarely left her apartments. The premature birth of her fourth child, the future King Ferdinand VI, was another blow to Maria Luisa's health. Physicians were powerless and Maria Luisa Gabriela of Savoy died of tuberculosis of the lymph nodes on February 14, 1714. She was buried in the Pantheon of the Kings of the Monastery of El Escorial. Maria Luisa would go down in history as a deeply loved Spanish queen. After her death, two of her children, her eldest and her youngest son, would become kings of Spain. Thank you for watching.